Hi, everybody. It's Tim Gayash from the Gayash Institute once again. This is volume four of How Did He Do That? And today we're going to talk about hyperthyroidism and what's most likely autoimmune Graves' disease, which is the autoimmune version of hyperthyroidism. In this case, uh, this young lady was treated with a combination of both orthomolecular medicine, which is dysfunctional nutrition, uh, as well as the biological biphasic dose response therapy, because we had to go after the thyroid and try to try to slow it down a bit, uh, because we see what it was causing here in this before photo. Uh, but let's see first what we did or what changes occurred in hyperthyroidism. Hair loss is very, very common. And you look at the look at her hairline here, and you see where the loss is occurring. Look at it here. It's it, it's very dramatic in her, her the re, regain of hair growth. Uh, we look at the bulging eyes, and that's why I believe it was an undiagnosed uh, autoimmune disorder because the extent for which the eyes are bulging. Uh, seems to lend more towards autoimmunity or, and Graves' disease than it does hyperthyroidism alone. While the eyes can bulge in hyperthyroidism, to the extent of what we see here, I would more liken it to uh, autoimmune Graves' disease. So what a lot of the other stuff that you see, and you see here that the eyes have recessed and gone back to normal, but a lot of what you're seeing here is just weight gain, the ability to gain weight after, after putting the hyperthyroidism in, into remission or reversing the hyperthyroidism if there's autoimmunity, putting it into remission. So she was able to gain some weight back and that filled in so, some of these spots where she couldn't gain weight previously and she was losing it and, and she was quite thin, but allowed her to her metabolism to actually <laughs> slow down enough to allow her to gain a bit of normal weight back. She's still not a big girl by any chance, any, any stretch of the imagination, sorry. Uh, but she cer certainly uh, filled out, filled her cheeks a little bit. Real, real great symmetry as well. Look at the nose and how it tur it's turning. Let's see how small this nostril is, and this one's wide open. Uh, look at the alignment now. Look at the lips that are all going all the way to her right or the left of the screen. Line it up. They're pretty close to center, and it's still not perfect. None of us are perfect. And we're getting pretty good alignment right here. So, with that said, this is what's used to treat her bromide because bromide and iodine compete in the thyroid and you keep hearing bromide is so bad for your thyroid it's actually not it's a requirement of your thyroid iodine and bromide compete in the human thyroid if there's too much bromide uh, then yes hypothyroidism can occur will occur sorry i shouldn't say can it will uh, so that that's indeed true they work synergistically together but they also compete against each other in order for the thyroid to function normally there must be a proper balance of bromide or bromine and iodine and what you're seeing over here is a great lack of bromine or bromide that it that caught that's be, the most essential part of what's going on over here over here what you're seeing is the balance of bromide and putting the autoimmunity into remission and i use dna rna mrna trna uh, thymidine adp and and so on <laughs> i don't know i'm going to go through the whole list all blended into one formula uh, and that's a biological that's one of the biological therapies and use it in a manner to stimulate sorry to sedate i apologize to sedate uh, the thyroid so it would slow it down a bit and allow the overall metabolic rate of 
this young lady to come back to nor to a normal place where she could gain weight is not overheated is not her her hormones are not all over the place and this is the final result but the main thing i used here was bromine and the biologicals uh to provide provide present this to you and that's really it that's that's the treatment but to, to, to go into more greater detail and all the other things it, it was irrelevant because it probably wouldn't be relevant to you but these are two things that are really always going to be relevant and that's what you needed to know that's it for now bye bye